Hey there, cowboy. How you doing? I'm the Five Minute Gamer. We're going to do a story mode review on Red Dead Redemption 2. So, this game's pretty cool. Um, I actually really enjoy it. There's some funny moments where you get to blow up uh, poop in front of a guy and it smears all over the place and stuff like that. And uh, he doesn't really like it. I don't really blame him. But it's funny, right? Who doesn't like poop? It's kind of like that uh, Police Academy or Back to the Future moment when people get poop spread all over the place. Anyway, so we're going to talk a little bit about the game, how it works, and whether or not you should buy it. And take my reviews for what they are. It's kind of like my tips and tricks videos. Either you're going to like it or you don't. Anyway, so I found it super clunky to begin with. When you're starting off in the snow and all that stuff and you're trying to move around, it's so cumbersome and so slow and so slow. Uh, same thing with the story mode. Found it incredibly, incredibly slow and hard to get into at the beginning. And three, I don't know what it was. It was just really dry, very old western-y. So if you're a huge western fan, I guess that's what you're going for playing this kind of game. It is very dry and boring and tedious. But as you move along, you get through the snow level and stuff. And you start getting into more of the open world kind of things. Where you can go hunting by yourself. Where you can go murder people. Uh, because who doesn't like to murder people and steal horses, right? It's kind of like murdering people and stealing cars. It is a Grand Theft Auto or a Rockstar game, right? So, same shit, different pile. Uh, the aiming, same as Grand Theft Auto. The guns, eh, kind of shitty, to be honest. Don't really care for it. But, the overall gameplay and the battles and how they play out are worth it. So, yeah, it's kind of cumbersome and kind of difficult. I do like this, the showdown, the the quick draw stuff. Took me a little bit. Please watch my tips and tricks videos show you how to shoot people. But it took me a little bit to learn how to do it. But once I learned how to do it, I was like, ah, you know what? That's kind of cool. I actually really like that element. Okay, sure. um, I like the fact that the world is actually just alive. Like this dude here, he's going hunting for a bear. And if you watch my oh, tips and tricks videos cool tomorrow, you, you'll learn that bears are, well, bears can be bears, yo. That's all I'm saying. They're not all cuddly like uh, Pooh Bear and and uh, Mickey Mouse, the Mickey Mouse or whatever. Yeah, they they like to eat people. Really, that's. I used to have an unnatural fear of bears, and I didn't want to camp any place near trees. True story. And then I started getting into white water rafting. My wife kept on making fun of me, and eventually, poof, not afraid of bears. But I will never swim out into the middle of the lake thinking I can outswim a bear because I found out that they can actually swim to like 20 feet below water and that was going to be my my evasion technique is I was going to swim out into the middle of the lake and be like ha ha bear you never get me but it turns out they're a better swimmer than I am and I'd be uh I'd be bear food so when you'd be walking by bear scat you'd be like oh look he ate a bunch of berries and a five minute gamer guy he had like xbox controller parts built in him or he's stuffing it up as bad one too Anyway, so going on to... <laughs> my wife just gave me a dirty look. Going on to uh, my review, back to my review. What's cool is there is a sense of realism in the world. More so than The Witcher, more so than Far Cry 5 or the Assassin's Creed games. I'm actually going to do another video next week. Come back for it. It's going to be comparing all those kinds of games against each other. So you do get the feeling that you're in a live world and there's real decision making happening in the story. You can choose how to do things. Um, I haven't played any of the online yet, but so far it's super, super cool that way. And it's playing out in a unique way for me. It kind of has the fable element too, where you can be really good or really bad. Um, I'm trying to get my bounty up as high as I can just to see what happens. How high I can possibly get it so I'm murdering dogs and children and stuff like that and stealing people's horses and shooting people for no reason really disturbing my family especially my daughter because she's the complete opposite kind of gamer so it does give you that kind of environment you can play within with a bunch of comedy and old western style stuff that people like to see hopefully there's some cool easter eggs like maybe seeing the people from back to the future 3 in this game that would be cool or uh, Clint Eastwood and stuff like that so Please like and subscribe if you've noticed our channel has changed. We have videos five days a week now. Monday's gaming, Tuesday's gaming, and tips and tricks for, like, everything. Wednesday's paranormal. Thursday is tech. And Friday, my friend uh, my friend does all the horrors, and he tells you how the horrors are in your area and all that stuff. 
and the new horrors that are coming out. Okay, please like and sub. Bye.